Do you guys hear that? There's music playing and it's all the time. We have a lot of musical neighbors and they, right now they are doing some acoustic rendition of Adele or some other song. They're doing an acoustic rendition of many, many different various songs that are on the radio. So I walk around the apartment thinking, look, I have a soundtrack. I don't need to put on music. I have them. Anyway, guys, um, Emmy is really out of it today. Uh, we really didn't film too much because all it really was was waking up really sleep deprived and running to the dentist. And Emmy was there for like two hours and they were doing finishing up the root canal or and fillings. Well, actually, they just did the fillings and now they have to still finish up the root canal. But it was a lot of heavy duty work and she's really loopy right now. Like passed out before it was like loopy Emmy and now it's passed out Emmy. Hello guys. I just woke up from the longest nap ever since like earlier this afternoon, like around 12 or one, I don't know. We had to go to the supermarket and get some food because we haven't eaten. Um, but yeah, as we're walking, we saw this, guys. Who would have that in their car? Like, why would you do that? Like, let's think about this, guys. Why, why did, and what would go across your mind to be like, I am gonna put this in the window of my car, right in the front. Why, why, why would you? Imagine if you're going to pick up your father-in-law, or, you know, your girlfriend and her mom is out there, or something like that. What do you think they're going to think? F your feelings, F your feelings. That's all. Live here, reporting from Daily London's News. So guys, it's come to that point where we just need to wake up. I am looking at the bed too longingly and the pillow is my friend. So Emmy decided the smart decision was to get this double shot energy. I just have regular frappuccino, guys. Look, I'm so happy. You're asleep. still happy. I am like. You're talking like your eyes are like, yeah. Why you want to see Papa so much? What is your problem today? Hmm? Ma, 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 ma. Sweetie, baby. Mm, I love oh, you. No. I love you. I love you. What is up with you? Sit right there. Sit right there with me. What do you think's wrong? I don't know. She's jumped at me like three times already, like in less than two minutes. I don't know what's going on. And she gives you that like look. She gives me that look of I'm sad. Depression at its best, guys. Guys, I want to tell you, share one little thing for you. Emmy has started to refer to the upcoming birthday that she's having as the third decade of her life. Just wanted to share that. That's the phrasing that's been used. And I've been like, I have to continue to put together my masterful birthday plan for Emmy. Um, it's kind of formulating. I wanted to know and ask you, you guys some advice. Like, I would love to know in the comments down below, what do you think I should do for Emmy's birthday? What, do, what would you want? What's the most, like, the best thing that someone's ever done for your birthday? Write it down below. Emmy said this to me a couple months back. She was like, um, I just don't want to be here in, a, in New York, in the United States for my birthday. I want to travel. That would be my ideal wish, to be away from the U.S. and the United States and see new things. And now I hear, but if that does not happen, the second thing I would like for my birthday would be to go see the Pope. The Pope is going to be here on Emmy's birthday, and Emmy just disclosed to me that that would be the second option for the most amazing birthday. That left me a little bit speechless, but it's pretty cool, you know. Who else can say on my 30th birthday I went to see the Pope? But so we're trying to get tickets, but it's kind of hard, you know. When you put that two, like the two things into one sentence, I don't know why it makes me like crack the hell up. I'm like, okay, number one. I would like to just go on vacation and go away for my birthday. 
normal. Number two, if I can't do that, I want to see the Pope. That makes me think about what could possibly be number three on Emmy's birthday must-have list. This list is getting kind of very random. I know it's been a couple of days that we've just been, you know, not showing you guys too much. And it's because we're preparing several things. And I'm just going to give one clue. Plane. I think I'm just getting informed on these clues too. I kind of have an idea. Plane? Wait, 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 wait. Yes, plane. But it's a specific type of plane. And I'm not going to tell you what we're going to do. It could be that we're going somewhere. It could be that we're jumping off of it. It could be so many things, but that's all I'm going to say. Plane. Be prepared. Because this is big. I'm officially scared, guys. I heard the word jumping out of, and I'm just like, ugh. But, um, yeah, okay. What Emmy said. Stay tuned, because something's happening. Plane. Can you crack this mystery? Because I can't. Help me out, guys. Anyways, this plain thing is happening in the next. Good night, Team B. Let's see who's visiting. <gasps> Who is it? Chelsea's here.